Are you serious? Are you serious? What have we learned from CERN? Should we be concerned about CERN? Well, will it burn? Well, what about the room where it happens? Who are these people, by the way? Well, Mike Lamont, the deputy head of the Beams Department at CERN, home to the Large Hadron Collider, uh, turns and always looks toward the entrance of the Accelerator Control Center and says, there she is. Fabiola Gianti, the director of the director general of CERN, strolls always toward the crowd of engineers and operators and physicists huddled around the wall of screens that form the control panel for the LHC. Who is the operator on shift, Gianni asked, and a woman perched in front of waves over her, Gianni's hands, her a large Col Columbia um, Italian Easter cake. They're celebrating Easter down in the bowels of Cern. Well, is that all? Well, looks, we already know about the Hindu goddess Shiva on the outside and some of the other dancing with the devil type things uh, that, that goes on there. But Cern is, uh, is a very interesting situation. It is where uh, millions of protons are sent in uh, and collide at the speed of light, creating what they call the God particle. And then in the God particle, they're trying to create or trying to find the, the origin of life. They're trying to find the DNA of God. Uh, and in the meantime, they have found that there is such a thing as matter and antimatter. But just exactly really is what what is the ultimate go of course to weaponize to create weapons no doubt about that but at the end of the day are they trying to pierce the veil are they trying to break open the veil to the dimensions beyond our reality are they trying to go where no man can go unless god leads us there well we don't know exactly how far along they are in the process at cern but one thing's for sure, what we have learned is that it is a very secretive and very, very, very close-knit group of people. I've shared with you a couple names here of some of the folks that work in the war room of CERN, but there are lots of folks involved, and uh, they remain quite anonymous as we continue to wonder what it is that they do at CERN. Now, you know, Anthony Patch has really done a great job in exploring CERN. He has studied CERN and the God particle and the colliding of the protons at the speed of light, matter and antimatter, D-wave computers, and a whole lot more for many years. And even Anthony Patch says they're trying to pierce the veil. Well, give your life to Jesus Christ because Christ did pierce the veil. He actually did. When he died on the cross for our sins, he went and preached to the spirits in prison. He went through the veil and he came back and he rose again. He ascended to the Father and he's going to make another return. The question is, will you be ready when he comes? Are you ready? Give your life to Jesus Christ. He's coming soon. You know, last night... Our broadcast, we've seen 73 salvations last night. It was an incredible, it was one of the greatest uh, nights of uh, salvations in the salvation station that we've had. Uh, it was a tremendous, tremendous night. And many people said it's time for them. They made the commitment to accept Christ as their Savior. But multiple, multiple billions of people still aren't saved. And we know time is running out. And as mankind tries to either pierce the veil at CERN or climb into and build a colony on Mars, no matter how deep in the deep, deep you dig, or no matter how high you climb, you cannot escape the hand of God. You can actually find that in the book of Amos. That God will find you no matter if you dig deep into hell itself or climb into the heavens. He'll find you. Are you saved? Give your life to Jesus Christ. 
We are truly living in the last days. What have we learned from CERN? Well, we know where the room is where it all happens.